everyone it's me crystal and i'm here hello everyone hello everyone it's me crystal and i'm here with yet another hello everyone it's me crystal and i'm here with yet another food review and other things today the food review is for White Castle and you can tell by the number of grease stains on here that this is going to be good for you. The other things today is is I have two not one not three but two what is on my nose little things to open up that people have either given me or giving Tammy to give to me. And she gave them to me. Um, and then I have a few questions that I have written down on paper that I will randomly select. But let's get right into this food. New in-app delivery. I'm on Broadway in Nashville. And I don't never come down here because there's traffic and there's bars. And I don't want nothing to do with that. But today's food I ordered. What the hell? Swa strawberry swirl cheesecake. I didn't know it was this damn small. Why would you make it that small? White Castle. Who wants to eat something so small? Then we have the classic fries, crinkle cut fries they're called. I got their, uh, they got a new thing here. It's called slop. There is something on my nose, uh, an infection or something. Sloppy Joe. And I got, damn, it's loud over here. Get a muffler. Two double cheeseburgers, because the double cheeseburger is a number two. And of course, bag fries. And I'm gonna have to take my tooth out because I can't eat with it in. Where's my little tooth holder? Well, hopefully I, I have to have the tooth holder or I will lose it. Where's the tooth holder? There it is. Tooth holder. And I just pop it out like that and we are in business. And you put the tooth holder up there so you don't forget about it getting a crash. Then the tooth holder flies back, cracks the, the $800 uh, flipper that you bought and you are toothless forever. Tomato ketchup. Now, White Castle uses something called tomato ketchup. It's not Heinz. It's just generic. And for the money that I paid for this food, you think they would use Heinz. But they don't. All right. We're going to start off with the Sloppy Joe. Now, in the picture, it showed the bun... And then about this much sloppy joe and then the bun top bun right here but as we can see that's not how it is it's very small do not think you're going to get a sloppy joe that's piled high up to here and of course um when i was a child we used to eat a lot of sloppy joe because all you needed was ground beef and a can of manwich and it man which was a name brand for sloppy joe it has tomato sauce and herbs and spices and i don't know what else but we're gonna dig into that and try i'm gonna make a thumbnail jeez Ooh. Oh, jeez Sloppy Joe. 
Now, when I did uh, the Crystal commercial, I don't know if y'all remember, I did a, a commercial for the Crystal, the fast food place, and I had to hold up a breakfast sandwich. And I'm telling you, I had to hold it just like this. Even though it feels very unnatural when you're doing a commercial, that's how they want you to hold it so it looks delicious. Because if I'm just holding it like this, that's not going to sell any breakfast sandwiches. If I'm holding it like this, guess what? Breakfast sandwiches flying off the shelf. All right, let's taste it. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Mmm. That actually tastes really good. Never in my life would I think I'm going to go to a... Um, a fast food restaurant and eat a sloppy joe but here i am tastes just like the comforts of home it's good but got the classic coke zero someone in the comments said crystal how do you really feel about Coke Zero. I'm telling you, I'm addicted to it. Just as much as I was to regular Coke. And if you put Coke Zero in the fridge and get it ice cold, I'm talking on the verge of becoming slush, it's inconceivable. You can't even tell that it ain't Coca-Cola, regular Coke. Inconceivable. Let's go ahead and answer a question while I'm sitting here. Where did I put them? Damn, I need an assistant. Am I losing it? Hello? Somebody help me. I'm a ding dong. Here they are. All right, I'm going to randomly draw this. Randomly drawing a question. Not looking. I love that sound. Listen. Drop one. That might have been the question of the century. Drew wants to know, Crystal, do you pee in the shower? And my answer to that is, of course I pee in the shower. Do you think if I'm taking a shower, I'm going to get out, use the toilet, get dirty all over again, have urine on me, and then get back in the shower? No, I'm going to stand in the shower, pee in it, spray myself with my sprayer, wash myself with some soap, and get on about my day. I don't have time to go from, from shower to toilet, back to shower. Because essentially, a shower is a stand-up toilet. Now, would I poop in there? No. That's disgusting. But the water that's coming out of the shower going over my dirty body and going into the drain is all going to the same place. Coming out, going in the pipe, and out wherever it goes. In the river, in the ocean, I don't know where it goes. Frankly, I don't care. Not my concern. So I don't know, Drew, if you were asking me that just to see, because you do too, or you were going to judge me. But don't judge me for peeing in the shower. Because I'm going to spray out. I'm actually, it's more hygienic to pee in the shower than it is on the toilet. Because you sit on a toilet, no telling whose ass has been on there. Dirty ass. And lots of times when men use the restroom, on the very, very tip of the toilet, you know, on the back, there's a little uh, doo-doo mark. Because men don't know how to wipe their butts. Now, I have not seen that from my friend Harry after he's used the restroom, but I have seen that from other men where they sit down and before they're even doo-dooing, they have doo-doo on the, on the um, chair thing. What's it called? Toilet lid. Toilet seat. So I advise you every time you have to pee, get in the shower because then you're immediately getting cleaned. And it's kind of like a stand-up bidet. 
I encourage everyone that's watching this and all my friends and family to pee in the shower. Then spray yourself right after. Stand up bidet. Get one today. All right, let's eat our double cheeseburger. Let's eat a couple fries before they get damn cold. And I'm going to take... Thank you for your question, Drew. I'm going to take some of this ketchup here and just spread it all around. That's the easiest method today. I don't usually like doing this, but there's some folks walking down in a cowboy hat. All right, french fry, crinkle cut fry. And I'm so old... Wow, they're really having a good time. I wish y'all could see them. They're going to walk down to Broadway and get drunk. And think they're really doing something. Alright. Back in the day when I used to come to um, White Castle, they had like a little box of fries and it closed the top. They don't do that. They want the fries to get cold immediately so you buy more. Mm. It's a mix of people that don't have anywhere to go. Maybe a homeless people. And then rich people who want to come down here and see something. And it's really sad. Because it's cold. And I can't imagine being, you know, homeless. And they don't say homeless, they say unhoused. I can't imagine being homeless living on the streets and being in this cold I'm thankful that I have a home I can't imagine being out here in the cold and having to walk everywhere damn you know me I can barely walk so if I was homeless I'd just get a chair and blanket just sit there I guess I don't know what I'd do I'd be calling somebody to help these are good 10 out of 10 stars mmm really good mm. I love a double cheeseburger from White Castle we got the first layer bread, second layer pickle, cheese very thin slice of meat with holes onions, another thick piece of bread, cheese meat and another bread this is a, this is a nightmare for people that are trying to do low carb Three levels of carbohydrates. Three levels. They just snuck one in the middle there. And what I do is with every bite. God damn, these are not very fresh. I will put some of this on there. And then I take a bite. Not very fresh, but guess what? Gooder than that thing. Mmm. Now, before I came here, today is New Year's Eve, by the way. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Before I came here, I sold something on Facebook Marketplace to a man named Francisco. It was a heater. And you might be saying... Well, didn't Officer Daniels buy that heater? How can you sell it for profit? Well, Officer Daniels bought it for me when I smoked cigarettes and sat outside. Well, I don't sit outside and smoke cigarettes no more. So I sold it. Now, did I tell him that I sold it for profit? No. And are y'all going to tell him? Well, that's up to you. Anyway, I sold that. And then I looked at my phone. I typed in www.google.com. And then I typed in the little box restaurants near me that are open on New Year's Eve that are not closed that have good food I typed all that in and hit enter well a place called Chef's Marketplace opened up and I thought well great a nice restaurant I can do um, curbside because it said curbside, curbside pickup and I went on there and ordered online everything I wanted meatball sandwich uh, tortilla soup and some other things put in my credit card number press submit then it sends me a text message that says 
which I didn't read, your order has been submitted. And what it said that I didn't read was, it has not been confirmed yet. So then I drive over to the restaurant and park in the curbside parking. And I'm looking in the restaurant, I'm like, it looks awful dark in there. But then I saw some lights, uh, like Christmas lights swinging. I said, oh, they got their Christmas lights on. And I'm sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and sitting there for 30 minutes. And never once did it occur to me to maybe check my email. Well, then I checked the text message. And that's when I saw it has not been confirmed yet. <clears throat> and I called them and it said, thank you for calling Chef's Market. We are closed today to celebrate the new year. And I never felt so stupid. Don't let that be a... I hope that's not a sign on how the rest of my year is going to be. Because the last two days, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, Eve, in my brain, I was thinking, this is going to be a good year. Crystal, this is going to be the best year you ever had. Crystal, this year's going to be busing, is what I said to myself. But then when I ordered food and then they have a pending charge on my credit card, and I don't got no food from Chef's Market, that's when I get mad and say, please don't let this be foreshadowing. Now, when I eat off the pieces that have the ketchup gone, then I take more ketchup and put it on here. Um, then I grab my questions. I don't think I could reach that one. And I shuffle them up. one thing people look ridiculous doing? And that's from Amber. What's one thing that people look ridiculous doing? People look ridiculous doing a lot of stuff. Let's see. Well, I know for one, when people are dancing, even if they're a professional dancer, they look ridiculous. Especially older men. Men that are my age. 50s, 40s. If they're not professional dancers, they look ridiculous. Just don't dance. I'm going to... No, scratch that. Scratch that. I'm not going to take people's joy away from them. I'm not taking people's joy away. Dance if you want to, but let's be honest. You look ridiculous. Almost everybody looks ridiculous when they're dancing. I do. Anybody I know does. You know, doing all... When you're snapping and dancing, that's next level. The snapping adds a level to your dance that almost makes it look like, oh, she's been dancing for a long time. She took dancing classes. Oh, she has a dance mentor. Why am I yelling? Damn. I had to stop myself because I didn't want anybody to say, well, Crystal, you do this and that and the other thing and people make fun of you and you get mad. You're right, I do. So I had to correct myself. Even people who look ridiculous should dance because if dancing makes you happy and it ain't hurting nobody, dance on, mf -er. Do that thing. All right, I'm going to take another bite. I still have some ketchup left on here. I like dancing though. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Because I feel like everybody's looking at me. Probably because they are. Especially if I wore this when I went dancing. Look at it. It has multiple different animal prints on it. Not just one. Sometimes you'll see a shirt with just a zebra print or a leopard print. Cheetah. This has multiple. Multiple prints. All right, let's open up one of these. All right, I'm going to hold these up. And then you, the audience, 
say in your mind which one you want me to open. This one's number one. This one's number two. Which figurine do you want me to open up? One or two? And let's do some group group mind here and figure out what we want to... Oh, no. Let me get this food out. Audience, I'm channeling you. Which one should I open? Would it be number one? Would it be number two? Hmm. Take a moment in your brain to pick one and send it to me in my brain. My brain's telling me that the audience is saying number one. If you pick number one and I said number one, that means we are psychic psychically connected spiritually psychically let's see here oh look at it hold on let me make sure that's the only one in there it does not have a card on who it's from I will tell you that it cost I don't know what it cost that's not the price and this one's called sunrise rooster oh I see the price Damn, $31? It's a little rooster. And he, on his little ground, he's got little food where he pecks. It looks like little candy corns. He eats candy corns. And, of course, roosters, when they know it's time to get up, they're like thinking to themselves, All right, this is my one job. This is the one thing I'm known for. This is what I'm going to do. And he goes like this. And then you hear people in the community going, oh, God. And then he'll do it one more time. And it's one of the worst sounds you've ever heard. Very loud. Hurts your ears. But this guy right here, nature's alarm clock. Let's say you're too poor to get an alarm clock, even though they're very inexpensive. Maybe you don't have one on your phone. Get you a rooster, and every day at the crack of dawn, this guy will wake your ass up. Nature's alarm clock. And watch. I can do it without moving my mouth. You can't say to a rooster, Hey, rooster, wake me up at 6.15. Hey, rooster, wake me up at 9 a.m. This little guy, this MFR, is waking you up when his little eyes start seeing the sun. He could be sleeping all night, and as soon as that one eye peeps the sun, this is what this motherfucker starts doing. To wake up the community. Free. Accessible. Let's let's say you're somebody that never went to school and you can't read a clock. When you hear this guy go going off in the morning, you know it's time to wake up. No questions about it. He ain't going to crow at night. He ain't going to crow at, at 3 p.m. When it's time to wake up, this fella is getting you up. That's more reliable than... Than an alarm clock. Clock. You got nature's alarm clock waking you up, and everything he does is based on the sun. And look how cute he is. And sometimes people call them cocks. I don't know why. I call it a rooster. And a rooster, if you don't know, is a chicken that's a guy. So it's a chicken. That has male parts. And this one doesn't show any of those male parts. But you see a guy like this. With the thing up here. And this thing. That's a rooster. I think we should all. For the new year 2024. Thank roosters for waking us up. 
long before we invented the alarm clock, I think Steve Jobs invented them. Long before Steve Jobs invented the alarm clock, we had the nature's alarm clock, the rooster. I'll put that back in this box to keep it safe. I'm gonna put that in my curio cabinet and it will stay there forever. Should I open up number two? I feel like I should open up number two for the people in their brains that said, open up number two, Crystal. This is another one that was given to Tammy, I believe, and she gave it to me because I'm Crystal, her cousin. Let's see if this has a card in it. Oh my God. This is perfect because I'm on Broadway in Nashville. Look at it. It's a guitar. This one was $24.95. Sherry Acoustic Guitar. Let's sing a song. 25 years and my life is still Trying to get up that great big hill of hope For a destination I realized quickly when I knew I should That the world was made up of this brotherhood of man for whatever that means and so i wake in the morning just to step outside and i take a deep breath and i get real high and i scream at the top of my lungs what's going on and i say hey yeah yeah hey yeah yeah i say hey what's going on now listen I realized when I was singing that that it was flat that it was maybe out of tune but I'm not sitting here in front of record producers and nobody's gonna give me a record deal with the glass guitar my brain when I picked up this guitar told me to sing that and I don't know if that's divine in intervention or what but my brain told me that that is really really delicately crafted really nice whoever gave this to Tammy thank you this is really beautiful you can tell this is hand crafted this isn't created in a factory a glass blower made this whoa Hanging tough, whoa, whoa, hanging tough. That's the new Kids on the Block song, in case you don't know. Let's sing it. Let me put my tooth in and sing one more song, because this list is just uncomfortable. All right, Anna one, Anna two, Anna three. Please don't go, girl. It would ruin in my whole world. Tell me to stay. Never ever go away. I need you. I need you. I guess I always will. Girl. You're my best friend, girl, you're my love within. I just want you to know that I will always love you, love you, oh baby. Whoa, I hit that, I hit that last note, man. The rest of the notes are bad, but I hit that last one. Let's do one more question before I get out of here. There's a lot of stragglers around here. It's a lady in a cowboy hat and a handkerchief over her mouth, a leather jacket, ripped up jeans and cowboy boots. She's ready to go. She's ready to do that thing. Nicole wants to know, have you ever been in a cult? And she's going to walk behind me. I hope you can see her. Have you ever been in a cult? I've never been in a cult. Um, I have been in something similar to a cult which is called a romance scam and it's where a man will message you on the internet saying oh 
you're beautiful. And this is the first day, you know. This is the first date he's messaging. Oh, you're beautiful, dear. I want to be friends with you. How do I marry you? That's not a cult, but you feel like you're in a cult because then you spend the next three years of your life falling in love with a man named Donald who's a colonel in the army, but you never get to meet him because every time you send him uh, thousands of money to fly to you, something happens. He says, oh, the government's holding you up or um, my plane broke down. I need more money to help fix the plane, these kinds of things. At the time when I was falling in love with Donald, I didn't know that it was a scam because he was saying all the right things. You know, I love you. Um, I want to be with you. I have a million dollars. And when we get together, um, we're going to have a home of our own. Look out, ladies. It's a scam. If it's too good to be true, it is. And you ain't never going to get your money back. If they say, hey, send me some Bitcoin, don't do it. I don't even know what Bitcoin is. And I've been sending, well, I had been sending uh, this man Bitcoin. Thousands of dollars. I'm going to tell you, if you have a stranger on the internet sending you messages, he's wearing, generally he'll wear a um, army outfit or he'll be a doctor or he will be some really high profile job. And chances are, he's not real. He's stealing pictures from someone else and putting it on his profile. He's probably an ugly guy, you know in Minnesota and the scam is twofold they scam you and tell you they love you love you <clears throat> and they scam you and tell you that you're the most beautiful woman they've ever seen and they can't wait to spend their life with you um, and they say that on you know day one two three and then the second fold of the scam is where they get you to send them money by trick trickery and um you might say crystal how could you fall for that well you fall for a lot of stuff when you when you're in love and i was in love with donald i never dated a um uh, of somebody that high in the in the army um he had a lot of power you know and the fact that he trusted me enough um to send him bitcoin frankly uh, uh, excited me but um, ladies, beware. So if you think to yourself, wow, he's he's really good looking, um, it's probably too good to be true. So look out and don't let people um, get your Bitcoin. I'm keeping all my Bitcoin from now on. Every Bitcoin I have is mine. And I'm not sending it to no more men. Someone said pet unicorn or Pegasus. And I'll just answer this quickly. And I, I know the answer is Pegasus. And the reason I pick a Pegasus is because a Pegasus is like a unicorn in that it is magical, uh, beautiful, except it doesn't have the, cor the corn part, you know. Um, a Pegasus can fly. So let's say you want to go see your boyfriend Donald um, across the ocean you can get on your Pegasus and you can fly. Now, when you get there, if you have happen to encounter a bear or some other animal, you will not have the unicorn that has the, the corn that can then ram the bear or other animal. That's the only downside of having a Pegasus. A Pegasus can't protect you from physical violence. What it can do is fly away. Anyway, hope y'all have a, a blessed holiday season. Um, it's the new year, 2024. Thanks for watching all my videos in 2023. And I'm sure there's going to be more in, in 2024. Because let's be honest. What else am I going to do? And remember, be as blessed as you can be. Always be blessed. And also remember, don't 
set any resolutions because you're not going to follow through. Don't don't buy a gym membership on January 1st and think you're going to go all year. You're not. You're going to go for maybe a week. You should have been already had in the gym membership. If you're dedicated, you would have done had it. And yes, I belong to the Y. Have I been in two months? No. Because every time I go up there, the heater on the pool is broken and it's colder than that thing. Freezing. All right, everybody. I'm out of here. And remember, I don't have anything else to say. I don't have anything to, rem to remember. All right, everybody. Love you. And goodbye.